What's up watchers, Will here with an MCU video for you and today we're talking about one of the end credit scenes for Black Panther. Spoilers for the movie, but we see Bucky Barnes seemingly well recovered after his cryostasis in Wakanda while Shuri developed a way to delete his Winter Soldier programming. What's interesting to note is that the Wakandan children refer to him as White Wolf before he actually gets up and we see him once more. Now, to those unaware, White Wolf is the name of a character named Hunter who is T'Challa's older, adopted, and white brother. He leads the Wakandan secret police known as the Hatut Zaraze, which is where he took on that name, White Wolf, while his adopted brother, the true heir T'Challa, became the king and Black Panther. Although I think this was a nice easter egg, given the obvious that Bucky is white, this may give us some insight into what they may do with him in Infinity War. With Wakanda exposing itself to the world at large and possibly even adopting other people and cultures, T'Challa may give a responsibility to Bucky while he resides in the country, especially considering he doesn't really have anywhere else to go. It could be a good fit to have Bucky as the leader of a secret police slash mercenary squadron to act as a security force for Wakanda's now open borders since T'Challa probably cannot be everywhere at once. From here, they could actually shift Hunter's role in a potential sequel from that of a jealous adopted sibling to a possible enemy with Bucky taking up the role as the White Wolf. Hunter's backstory doesn't really fit into the current film version of Black Panther, especially given T'Chaka's perspective, so as a retcon, it would kind of break some already established aspects about the country and its history. But if they were to turn Hunter into maybe a jealous outsider who is fascinated with Wakandan culture that may flip aspects of his character while giving Bucky the mantle of a Wakandan mercenary. Which, given his experience, would make sense and until we see Infinity War, I don't think we will have a new or official Captain America for some time. So this could be a role he plays until he potentially redeems himself or people just forget his history of brainwashed assassinations. There is also the possibility of him joining the War Dogs with Nakia, which in the comics the Hatut Zaraze were known as the Dogs of War. These War Dogs are acting as deep cover agents of Wakanda stationed across the world and are effectively similar to the CIA. But due to how the world may perceive him, it may be better for him to just kind of lay low in Wakanda for some time. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think there is a future for Bucky and Wakanda as the White Wolf, or do you think it was just a neat little Easter egg? While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Hybrid Network. Also, check out our website and Patreon for more content. I'm Will, and I'll see you next time.